That's my man, DJ Ryan Wolf, the hottest DJ in Cleveland. Catch him on his Instagram, the 5 o'clock jam on Z1079. The B-O, or is it the B-O, or the B-I-O mix every day. Check him out on his Instagram, you know what I'm saying? My man, DJ Ryan Wolf. Appreciate that, that you uh, playing me in there, bro. What's going on, y'all? My name is Lockout Men, and this is the Lockout Men podcast show. Back again with another podcast for you. And it, this is a pretty, pretty uh, quick one because, you know, I'm waiting on uh, I'm waiting on an interview call right quick. So I thought I'd just come on and give you guys my thoughts on YouTube. Period. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in it, you know. Now, all you guys know that my feelings for YouTube has, you know, has really has really changed throughout the years. I've been on I've been on YouTube uh, for a long time. I, I say over 10 years. I, I, I can't say in particular when I came on YouTube, but. The only reason why I I came on YouTube and it wasn't it wasn't to start a show. It wasn't to do a vlog. It was just actually a place where I can store my videos. You know, back then, you know, cell phone videos wasn't all that wasn't all that hopping back in the day. So I was recording literally with a camcorder. And I just wanted some place online, you know, to store and a place for my kid and his kid and his kid's kid could come back and see what I was doing, you know, at that timeline. So my kid, you know, he helped me out. He got me, he, he got me started on YouTube and, uh, I was like, yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. At that time, I didn't understand subscribers, list, uh, uh, watchers, viewers. I didn't understand analytics. I didn't understand none of that stuff back in the day. It, it was just a online storage for me, for YouTube. So I didn't realize that you know, what I had to say or, or what I was doing was interesting at the time, you know, I mean, at the time I was playing video games. I mean, if you go back into the archives of, of my YouTube channel, you, you'll see a whole bunch of different shit. You know, I, I play video games. I, I just, just talked, you know what I'm saying? Me and my son, we just came on and we just talked about nothing <laughs> you know what i'm saying but for me going back into those archives and looking at the looking at the times me and my son had uh it's a beautiful thing to me and i really want to thank youtube for that you know giving me the opportunity to have something to put you know have something that i could just go back to but Things started to take a take a turn. And at that point it was it was kind of good. And I I still wasn't in it for anything but just to store my videos. You know what I'm saying? I I I I started when I got into road service, I started putting um all of my lockouts on there. And if I knew if what I knew now 
what I knew now, what I know now, what I should have known back then, I probably would have been, I, that probably would have been my niche right there. But see, like I said, I ain't no shit about, I ain't no shit about niches, finding the, you know, finding the audience, none of that. You know, like I said, it was just me putting up random videos and just didn't think nothing about it. You know, at that time I had maybe like 10, 15, 20 subscribers and just people just subscribing, you know? And um and then YouTube sent me an email saying, hey, like I, or at that time it was G Style. It was G Style 23. Hey G Style, um, you want to make some money off your videos? Shit, who doesn't want to make money? Well, join our ad, uh, our AdSense, and we can start playing ads on your videos, and you and you will make money. You know, you get a for every thousand click, you get what a penny or two or whatever. And I was like, shit, okay. But still at that time, I was like, hey, I, I still didn't care. Even I didn't even care about that. I had to, I asked my son, I was like, yo, um, I was like, yo, Sean, um, what do you think? Should I, should I start this thing with uh, YouTube and start making money? And he was like, well, shit, yeah. I mean, if they're gonna if they're gonna pay you for for running ads on your videos, then shit, go ahead, bro. Shit, I was like, okay. So um, I started, went in there, started, and I started putting more videos up. But like I said, for what I know now, I I should have made my lockouts as a niche, cause damn it, man, I was good. I was good. I could get, I, pfft, give me a car that I can't get into. I don't know about now. I mean, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of rusty, but shit. Any, any cars that was made in from, not, uh, from 2015 or 20, I say, when did I come into the game? 2015. So I say any cars from 2015 on down, shit. I can I can get into them boys. I can get in through the door. I can get in. I I can use the long rod. I can get in through the window. I can get in your front door. I can get in your back door. She, what the, the she is sixty dollars a pop. Hell yeah, call me up in the middle of the motherfucking night. You know I would take my GoPro with me and all like that little light. That's why some of these I, I I am surprised to this day that my that my lockout videos still get some still get some play and some negative comments. You know I mean listen I mean like I said YouTube for what it was for me wasn't a big deal and I was just putting videos up. You know. Now that I know every, you know, YouTube is the largest search in the search engine on the map next to Google. That's why Google brought it. You know, people is looking on YouTube for something. Every day, all day, 24-7. Somebody is looking at Google for something. You need to, you need to make a you, you need to make something, go to YouTube. You need to know about something, go to YouTube. You need to know what's the latest fashion trends, go to YouTube. The latest videos that uh that your favorite artist is coming out, go to YouTube. YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I still go to YouTube. If I need to find something, find something about a truck or find something about whatever, go to YouTube. So people that was interested in finding out how, you know, when they lock their keys in their car, they go to YouTube and then my videos will pop up. See, like I said before, if I knew about niches and shit like that before, oh, hell yeah. I would, my, my channel would have been 
up in the stratosphere. If I would have took the time, if I would have took the time to build the channel back then, of course, I would have been, you know, I wouldn't be considered a small channel, which to this very day I am. You know, I'm I'm considered a small channel. You know what I'm saying? I don't have that many subscribers. You know what I'm saying? And I think the the subscribers that I do have, I do have some day ones that been with me since uh since the TV, since the uh since the Garmin when I talked about the TV that I brought back in the day and when I talked about the Garmin GPS that I brought back in the day, those are, those was my first two popular videos before I got into trucking. But I still, it, it still trips me out that I still got people commenting on my videos for the lockout videos, but some of them, of course, some of them are negative. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I can't see what he's doing. Why you didn't? Why you didn't do this? And how come the camera is this? And I, I can't see shit. And you shouldn't have put this up. And all and all sorts of shit. You know, I I should go every time somebody make a negative comment on one of my lockout videos. I just basically go back and and turn the comments off because. I'm not in the lockout. I'm well, I'm I'm still in the game. I still know my shit. But you know, this is 2020 and the and technology and the cars change. I mean, if you got one of these new cars now, you could just push a button from fucking space and the door unlock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or you can you could just tap on your phone and ask Surrey, hey Surrey, unlock my car. And your car will unlock. So you know, only time that you need that you need me to come and unlock your car if you actually lock your phone and your keys in the car. I mean, if you are if you lock your keys in the car and you got your phone and you got one of them Surrey connected phone, I mean cars and shit. Hey Surrey, uh, can you unlock my car? Uh, no problem. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Yeah, no problem. But I still got people that lost their keys in their cars. And they come, they they look up a video. The most popular video uh, for my lockout is a Ford F, I mean, not a Ford F-150, but a Ford Explorer. I can get in that car in less than a second. Second. You hear me? I can get in, I can get in a Ford Explorer in less than a second. Why? I'll, I'll tell you why. Because Ford Explorer was, was my first unlock. You want to know why it was my first son lot? Because I owned the vehicle and the dude came out there, got into my car and he taught me how to get in it. I went to the junkyard Ford Explorer and just and just worked on that shit all day, all day. And I could get into a car just like that. If I knew about niches back in the day, YouTube, yeah, my, my shit would be like in the stratosphere right now. But later down the line, let me also tell you, I, I wasn't a big YouTuber. I wasn't doing I wasn't doing reaction videos. I wasn't doing none of that back in the day. Maybe I should have. You know, maybe I should have took maybe I should have took YouTube a little bit serious because if I was a large channel, then I would be getting over. You know, the bullshit that YouTube is doing right now, man, it's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking crazy. You know, back then, back then, YouTube, you know, if you had if if you had an opinion or if you want to talk about something, you, you have free range to do that. But now YouTube is censoring just about every fucking small channel. Now, I'm not sure about the bit channels. You know what I'm saying? Because I notice some of the bit channels have have day problems with YouTube. But that's because they using that's because they using YouTube as a sole, uh, as a sole, uh, money stream. That's that's how they make their money from YouTube, from making videos every day. You know, twenty four seven. They gotta they gotta continue to make a video in order to stay relevant. And for those ones that that aren't relevant right now i guarantee you when they come back like let's take casey neistat for example when he came on youtube 
thing. He built his million subscriber following. Now he could just make a video about shit. And in the first hour, first half an hour, first minute, he gets over 100,000 views. Small channels like myself, we make a we make a video. Let's say we got let's say you got five thousand subs or six thousand subs. You make a video and only a hundred views within that first minute or so. Now back then, before all this bullshit, in that first minute, you would get uh you would get views because YouTube didn't have no didn't have no restraints like they got now. You know, you can put out a video, you get you, you you get your views, you get your money and all like that. Back then, making YouTube, you know, doing YouTube wasn't about the money for me. I I was only averaging like in the beginning. Shit. You had to have a hundred dollars in order to withdraw your money from YouTube. Man, I would go like a fucking whole year before I even get some money from YouTube. It would it it would take me coming into trucking in 2015 to start seeing a revenue from YouTube every month. But before it was like in the beginning it was like like little to none, but then when I made those two popular videos, I would start seeing like like Fifty dollars one month, fifty dollars the next month, and then I'll get my money. Fifty dollars one month, fifty dollars the next month, and then I'll get my money. You know what I'm saying? It was like maybe like a hundred dollars a month, and that that wasn't no money. A hundred dollars ain't no money. Shit, I, I took that just to go gambling. <laughs> that wasn't no money. I took that YouTube money and doubled it when I went gambling every month. Shit, that, that that ain't no money. And everybody over here talking about now they're getting on YouTube and all like that, thinking that they're gonna make some money. I I seen I seen one post from a from a trucker that finally uh that finally says, Oh yeah, I got uh I finally got my YouTube money. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is another money stream. I finally got my YouTube money. Big deal. <laughs> you know. So now YouTube down the line started changing some shit, you know, they, they, they started changing some shit, you know, and I, some shit was for the good and some shit was for the bad. Like some shit for the good. I understand about a lot of people, you know, they do that sub for sub shit. Not like that. I had people that come up in my comments all the time back in the day. Yo, I'm such and such and let's be YouTube friends and, you know, sub for sub. You sub to me and I'll sub to you and we'll build our channels together. But that sub for sub shit don't mean shit if you don't watch the videos. That's why that that's why I said to this day, like when YouTube started that bell and that and that all shit, if, if you hit the subscribe button back in the day, you was a subscriber. You back in the day would have got all of the videos that, that, that the YouTuber would come out with. I mean, when I hit, when I hit a subscribe on a, on a, on a certain page back in the day, I used to get an email every time that person comes out with something. Now I don't because now you got to hit a bell. If you don't hit that bell, you don't get notified. What's the point of subscribing? What's the, what's the, what's the point of subscribing if you don't hit the bell and hit that all button? What is the point? Because if you don't hit that all button, you're telling YouTube, hey, uh, we'll just send you the, the video whenever he, he drop it. If we feel that the video is worth your is is worth your time and watching. Bullshit. Bullshit, YouTube. Bullshit. So when they started that bell shit, I was like, okay, all right, big deal. We was still we still had free range on whatever we had to say. But now apocalypse happened. A lot of ads pulled there. 
pulled their ads from YouTube because they felt that some of the creators, you know, they 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 felt that they ads wasn't right for their channel. And back then I I I didn't understand that either. I didn't understand that either because like Hell, when you turn on the TV, when you turn on the news, you see the same fucking ads on the news channel. And the news talk about talk about death, talk about controversy shit, talk about politics. And the same ads is running on the news. We'll be right back after our sponsor. Yay. We want you to buy this from we want you to buy this. All right, and we're back talking about murder, death, kill. What's the what, what's the difference in in your favorite YouTuber talking controversy? Now we can't we can't talk controversy. We can't we can't talk controversy. We can't do none of this shit. We can't cuss because YouTube put a ad friendly guideline. We got to be a friendly channel. Now, for those channels that was downright drama channels, yeah, they got hit the hardest. You know, they got hit the hardest. But YouTube want to want to censor whatever the whatever the fuck we got to say. And now it's messing with people's money. Oh, well, I woke up one morning and YouTube demonetized just about three quarters of my videos because they was, uh, they, they was, uh, we was talking about, we was cussing in our videos and, and we was talking about politics and we talking about drama. We talking about controversy. We talking about fights. No, I like that, man. That's crazy. And they even got a flag that is dangerous to the people on YouTube because if somebody don't like you or like your video, all they have to do is go and flag it. Hey, YouTube, uh, this video, I, I don't think this video is such and such. So I need y'all to, I need y'all to either demonetize it or take it down because it's not part. They, they not talking about nothing. Uh, they talking against the community guidelines. I am tired of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I like I said, I, I said it once, I'll say it again. I'm not on YouTube for the money. I'm not on here for the money. And if you're going to subscribe to me, hit that all button so you can get all of the videos and don't let YouTube determine what videos to send you to watch. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a firm believer of the fuck YouTube movement. I, you know, I really think, to be honest with you, now that Instagram is coming up, I really think Insta Instagram need to stop bullshitting and come up with their own video platform. That's what they need to do. They need to stop bullshitting. They need to stop with the one minute videos and let us upload the the same same amount of time videos that we do on YouTube, man. Stop bullshitting Instagram. Oh, well, we got the we got the IGTV. No, nah, no, nah, that 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 don't work for me. That don't work for me. You got you got IG the platform and you got videos that's lasting more than a minute on your platform. If you want to watch more, click. Stop bullshitting and just let us upload straight to the platform. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of Instagram videos, they don't ain't no ain't no filter. Hello? Wait a minute. Hello? Yeah. All right, let me call you. Let me call you right right back. We'll get right into it. Okay. All right. All right. So that's that's the call I was waiting for just in time, too, because I was about to end this podcast. But um, but 
Instagram, stop bullshitting, man. Stop bullshitting. Come on. Make if you if you're gonna if you're gonna have videos on your platform, just make the platform for videos now more than a minute. You know, I because I I mean I like Instagram. I promote I promote YouTube through Instagram. All that money or all that all that viewership and all like that will will come over more if you let us upload to the platform. Stop bullshitting Instagram. And as far as YouTube goes, that's what I think. Now, you could probably come over here and demonetize my shit because of what I'm talking about you. Fine. Demonetize it, yo. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not like y'all not demonetizing all, I mean, all my other shit. The last few, the last three videos that I put up, I talked about those, I talked about those people that painted over that Black Lives Matter. Y'all, y'all felt that that was hateful. I, I didn't talk. I mean, I, I, you know, I just gave my opinion on it, but it wasn't hateful. Then the one, the same video when that young kid got smacked in the face by that dude, y'all said that y'all y'all said that was a fight. But it wasn't. The dude came over, hit the kid, and ran like a pussy. And then another video, and then another video I put up, y'all, y'all said something else about it. I, I don't know. But these are these are not ad-friendly videos. You know, I, I think you guys just fuck with the little channels just because we don't have no fucking power. But if y'all do that shit to like Casey Nagstat, Peter McKinnon, and all these other bigger YouTubes that got like that got like millions of subscribers, like PewDiePie and all like that, y'all y'all will put them motherfuckers in a different in a in a different bracket. And if one of their video, God forbid, if one of their videos get demonetized, they got a phone number that they can call directly and say, "Hey, man, yo, uh, this video that you guys demonetized." you know yada 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 they'll put it back us small channels it's one and done it's one and done y'all don't y'all y'all come y'all 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 give us an opportunity to dispute it but if we dispute it and y'all still say it's it's not it's not conducive then y'all not we're done we're done you don't you don't like how how the thumbnail look or you don't like the content of the video kind of shit is that man give the you back to youtube to us the creators either for the small channels and for the big channels give us a fucking phone number where we can call to actually talk to somebody to dispute a, a claim okay i'm just saying and on that note I'm done. I'm done with my little YouTube rant today. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more videos. And hit that all button so you can get all of the videos. All of them when they come out. All right? My name is Lockout Man. My cousin is that going to play us out. Like you guys take it easy. Y'all have a blessed day until I come back with another video.